Hello, this is Mojave Green. I'm on top of the Dragon Raider. This is a ship we're going to talk about today. Let's get to it. Okay, to buy a Dragon Raider, you have to go to the Free Families War. The Zyra's Patriarch only sells the Dragon, so. There we go here. Buy ships. Select medium, Dragon Raider. I'm going to go for the high preset to see what they actually recommend. And what they're doing here is the torpedo launcher on all six main tubes. Okay, that's what they recommend. And they're recommending the, the flak for the and buy 20 heavy torpedoes. All right. Also, it's recommending the Mark III. At my shipyard, I have the Mark IV, so it goes much faster. But the Dragon Raider. At 777. Now, if you go to the Dragon, it only does 674. So the Raider is faster. And that's with the Mark IV, 674. If I do the Dragon Raider, with the Mark III, it's already 777. Unfortunately, they don't have the Mark IV here. Combat thruster. Now you get a much better shield from the Terran or the Talati. Okay, we get all the main software. where you buy Dragon Raider. Okay, I've already built two at my station. I built this one. It has all the different launchers. This one here, I built my split one. Uh, it's got all torpedo launchers. to demonstrate the weapons. Okay, I'm in this Raider here. And it's got all the different launchers, so let's see what they do. Okay, we're going to select number two. Okay, number two is the Bosa, and they're on Gatling, and Tau Accelerator, and I'll switch to these three here. Oh, we test all six. Now we're at number two right now. Okay, that's the bosun. Did two percent shield damage. Gatling, 
The most it overheated after one shot. So the neutron gatling. Number three, so now we're on the neutron gatling. And it heats up a whole lot more slowly. But unfortunately it's not doing any shield damage at all. Okay, it did no damage. Third one is the Tau Accelerator. Okay, it only did 2% shield damage while it's going. Okay, we can take those three away. We're going to do these three now. Number two, which is okay, that's a thermal disintegrator that heats up a whole lot more slowly, but as you can see, it's doing hull damage. Two percent hull damage. It doesn't do any shield damage. Three percent damage to the shield. Okay, now we're doing the plasma cannon. Okay, did three percent shield damage. And last but not least is the mass driver. Yeah, it regenerates faster than it damages. It did about 4% shield damage. Now if you do them all at once, time everything overheats. It's done about 30% shield damage. Okay, now we're going to jump. Over to this one. Okay, this one is on secondary, so it launches with the L key. Okay, a couple of them missed the spot. Let's see what kind of damage the other four do. Okay, took it all the way down to 26% shield. Okay, we got six incoming. That's the second shot. Okay, 
it took down a 17% haul and zero shield. Okay, third shot. And that took it out. So we took out a large with three sets of torpedoes. The problem is I got two heavy torpedoes left. So you, you need a resupply ship for this. Unfortunately, they only hold 20 torpedoes, but that is the most devastating one. One of my favorite uh, Corvettes, my favorite is the Katana, but this is probably my second favorite Corvette. Okay, that's it for the Dragon Raider. If you enjoyed this video, you got anything out of it, please click the like. Goodbye.